Most wanted video, how to bomb, most posted on reddit, close air support sucks, life is strange, let's go. In this video we'll check out three different approaches to bombing, so make sure to watch until the end to find out which one fits you best. Most important insight, bombing is not dropping things, it's more like throwing. Think of it like this, you accelerate something and then you let go. In this case you accelerate your plane and then you let go of a bomb. The same principles apply to throwing a ball. You accelerate your hand holding the ball and then you let go. If you would fly at an upwards angle, your bomb would even fly in a comparable arc. The perfect drop would be a high speed drop straight from the top in a 90 degree angle. The bomb would just fall straight down onto the target without deviation. At least in the war thunder world where there's no wind and drag. Still, this technique has several drawbacks. One. You always have to reach some altitude first, this takes time we don't have. Because 2. During this preparation you are an easy target for fighters and anti-air alike. And 3. You need a lot of height or you will likely lawn dart after you hit your bomb. Which 4. Makes aiming a lot harder because your target is far away. Also 5. Your target is probably moving, so you are not exclusively in control of the angle. It will constantly change, sometimes unpredictably. And as we all know, Epictetus said, don't bother with what you can't control. Right Heinz? So I gelaber. So let's get more control over our drop. The first way is to use a plane with air brakes, like the Stuka, which is short for Sturzkampfbomber. Air brakes are extendable and will slow down your plane in a vertical dive. This will significantly reduce the probability of pancaking. Also, you're able to get closer, which makes it easier to actually hit your target instead of just blowing up some dirt and trees. Pass your target either on the right or left side. Then cut power. Extend the air brakes. Extend your flaps and roll towards your target. The brakes are doing their work, which gives you time to aim. If your dive is close to 90 degrees, just put your crosshair where you want your bombs to go. Drop them and immediately pull up. Set engine power to 100% once your nose pulls towards the horizon and then regain some altitude. Don't forget to retract your flaps and your air brakes. This tactic lets you easily hit targets, but it's quite complicated to pull off and the problem with your target moving still persists. Another complication is that you're a sitting duck for anti-air and fighters alike because you're basically motionless. On top of that only few planes have air brakes. So it's nice to know how to use them properly, but other approaches to bombing are used more frequently. Let's check them out. The second way to gain more control over your drop and safety on top is a shallow dive. Let's break it down step by step. First principle of all bombing efforts. Reduce slip angle to zero. This means your aircraft shouldn't drift to the left or to the right. Wings should be level to the ground so you don't bank. In a simulation you would need to use your roll and rudder controls. In War Thunder you don't have to care because the plane stabilizes itself, mostly. Now we're left with only two variables, drop velocity and vertical angle. Your dive should be between 30 to 40 degrees. The idea is to hit your target with the bombs flying in a mostly straight line. Going around 400 kph is a good compromise between reliability and precision. If you're going too fast, the time window for your drop will be small and the bomb will likely overshoot. And if you're going too slow, the bomb's flight path won't be straight and it will likely undershoot. Halt, Erdbreak! This channel is sponsored by itself. Get one of those epic radial engine shirts to support it. And now back to bombing. If your dive is at the correct angle and speed, just put your crosshair slightly above the target and release your bombs once you're close enough. But sadly it's not always that easy because your payload's behavior will change between bomb type and plane. While the A1H 2000 pound bombs fly in a pretty straight line, the Tempest 1000 pound bomb rather drops like a sack of black pudding. In this case fly the same approach because standard procedures are good, but level out your plane once you're close to the target. The moment your plane flies straight, drop your bombs. Watch where they land. Memorize their behavior and try again. 
by leveling out your plane before dropping your bombs, you gain a controllable factor. This way, your bombs will always behave the same and you can pinpoint the correct time frame better. Here's a basic rule to keep in mind. The further you pull up your plane, the shorter your drop will be. If you get a good feeling for your standard dive pattern, you can extrapolate how far you need to pull up to hit the target. You can pull off some crazy stuff this way, like bombing people inside a canyon or behind obstacles. But you wouldn't have come this far in the video if you weren't interested in another type of bombing. One that works exceptionally well in War Thunder. And that's tossing your bomb against obstacles. War Thunder bombs don't ever explode by other triggers than your set bomb timer. This means you can totally demolish people with zero skill if you're at the right place at the right time. Like here. I try to distract the guy by shooting my guns. Then I don't care to aim my bomb because I know it will bounce off the rocks. So if you see a target in front of an obstacle, just fly as fast as you can and wet your bombs against it. That's an almost guaranteed kill. Here's the advanced version where you need a little bit of targeting skill. I don't aim at the tank, but the little heap of junk besides it. Bombs in War Thunder stop at the tiniest elevation and that's what also happened here. And here, I spot the Waffenträger going up that little grassy bump. I fire my guns to stress him out a bit and then I just drop my payload at speed because I know it won't slide far. I still pull up a little bit to slow down the bomb to almost certainly get the kill. Some people learn better in third person view, but I would suggest to rather use the HUD view. It helps you control your angle better and your plane doesn't obstruct your view. Over time you get like a special sense and you just know when to release your bombs. The perspective you use then doesn't matter anymore. And with the correct timing you'll then be able to bomb two targets in a row. But there's more. As Heinz keeps to say, all good things come in threes. Yeah, you know. Here's a third way to aim your bombs. The BF-109 for example has a center mounted bomb. To accurately drop it, you enter a shallow dive 30 degrees plus minus 5. As you close in, at some point you're forced to pull up because you would crash your plane otherwise. Release your payload the moment your target disappears below your engine. Look at this. Precise hit. This was my first try ever. The technique works in IL-2, so I thought it might work as well in War Thunder. So I suggest you try out this approach too, if you still struggle to accurately bomb stuff. Make sure to watch my air combat tutorial to stay effective after dropping your bombs, or watch my tanking guide to learn how to rip people a new one on the ground. You might also get a nice radial engine shirt in my shop, link is in the description. Fly safe, maybe subscribe and thanks for watching!